Hi, my name is Danny Ashkenazi, and I'm the writer-composer of the new musical Speakeasy, which combines Roaring Twenties New York with Lewis Carroll's Alice books. It's a rollicking show full of colorful characters, catchy songs, and quite a bit of sexual intrigue. We have self-produced numerous productions and concerts over the last decade. Speakeasy is larger than anything we've ever done. It requires a larger cast, a larger space, and excellent design. We will present a four-week run next February at the Theatre for the New City in New York. We hope to hire up to 30 actors and musicians and designers. We can't do it on our own. We need the help of the great folk at Kickstarter. Dance the light to light, let love have a way. For love shows your heart what to do. I've worked with Danny many times before, but nothing, nothing, nothing is, is as delicious as Speakeasy. The moment I started reading it, I was flying. My imagination was on fire. Lewis Carroll wrote two Alice books, so Speakeasy has two Alices, newlyweds Jane and John Allison. Jane goes down the rabbit hole when she runs after her neighbor, Roberta White, the White Rabbit into a basement speakeasy. And John goes through the looking glass when he mysteriously slides through a mirror in a public restroom. They will both experience a strange, magical dream night, which not only mirrors the crazy events of Lewis Carroll's Alice books, but also illuminates the rich, queer subculture of Prohibition-era New York, with drag balls, lavender acts, and the pansy craze. History combines with Carol's whimsy. Speakeasy includes many colorful characters that combine Wonderland oddballs with real-life eccentrics from the 1920s. For example, Chet Cheshire, the flamboyant MC of the Wonderland nightclub, is based in part on, you guessed it, the Cheshire Cat, but also real-life openly gay entertainer Gene Mallon. The character Duchess Bentley combines infamous lesbian singer Gladys Bentley with Humpty Dumpty and the Duchess. Julian Carnation is part famed female impersonator Julian Eltinge, part Red Queen, and part Mad Hatter. I loved the research, the uh, marriage of the characters in the stories with actual people. People that m most, most of us aren't acquainted with these days. The piece is phantasmagorical. It is surreal. It is absurdist. It goes in directions you never expect it to go. It takes Lewis Carroll and it flies and it flies. And uh, I thought, wow, this is, okay, well, let's take a listen to the music because that's my role. And by the first tune, which is Speakeasy, I knew I wanted to be a part of it. And you're going to love it. You're going to be humming all the tunes of this show as you walk out of the theater. It's going to be a blast. What a dance, like a trance. And by chance, I am gazing at you. What you do, what I feel, could this truly be the Wonderland nightclub is populated with swells, flappers, jazzers, cross-dressers, drag kings, a large, diverse cast of all colors, genders, and sizes. And the more money we raise, the more actors we can hire in costume. The more musicians we can include, the more wonderful the Wonderland will be. Come where folks go and folks want to come out and play. Forget the day and simply get away. So please help. Every little bit is appreciated. And please share the Speakeasy campaign with your friends. And check out our rewards. We offer a slew of fun gifts at every level of giving. For example, you could be on stage sitting at one of the nightclub tables of the Wonderland. Or you could make a personal VIP appearance as Charlie Chaplin, Greta Garbo, Charles Lindbergh, Amelia Earhart, bantering with none other than Chet Cheshire himself. Thank you for watching and thank you for supporting Speakeasy. You can learn more about our project on the Kickstarter campaign page or by going to the blog Notes from a Composer and checking out the Speakeasy Chronicles, www.dannyashkenazi.com.